News out of West Valley City, Redwood Road at 3100 South remains closed from a deadly crash. A woman died in this crash and a man is still in the hospital with serious injuries. ABC4's Haley Higgins is live at the crash site with the latest details. What do we know, Haley? Hi, Brian. Well, take a look. It's been over five hours since this crash and investigators are still trying to figure out what happened. And even after they figure all that out, they still have to clean up nearly a half of a block of debris. The driver of this red Hyundai killed her car torn into three pieces. The other driver cut out of his car and rushed to the hospital. What happened here, police say, is extremely rare. It's maybe one of the worst ones I've seen. We got cars in multiple pieces. It's it's pretty bad. Michael Sutherland saw the Hyundai speeding south on Redwood Road. A car went by me like over 100 miles an hour, and then I like two seconds later I thought, oh my God, the intersection, and then I heard a loud bang. And I come down here, it was just that car was in three pieces. I mean, anybody looking at it for a car to do that obviously had to be moving pretty quickly, but we have no idea how fast they were going or what happened really in the intersection. The heavy debris field shut down the intersection during the morning commute. Drivers forced to flip U-turns while police tried to figure out what happened and why. At this point, police aren't sure if alcohol, drugs or other factors are involved. Yeah, they're still trying to figure out what is going on and what happened early this morning. And we haven't learned the name of the person who died or the person who was hurt and sent to the hospital. Reporting in West Valley City, Haley Higgins, ABC4.